All right, folks, so one thing that I'm getting ready to start messing with at some point, if I can remember to disorder it from the library, I'm definitely going to do it, but I'm going to start messing with Ren and Stimpy. So I thought, you know, of these 90s trends that took off, I may have said this before, but I think it's time to highlight it again. I definitely feel like Ren and Stimpy is something that needs to be revisited. Yeah, probably it probably won't happen until like September, or October or so. But this is something that, when seen, is going to ignite things. So if you don't know that show, it's a cartoon show that kind of pushed the boundaries as far as what should be aired in a program for the kiddos. So what your choice of what you choose to see when that happens is up to you, but as it stands, I do think it's safe for me to be in my late 20s and decide to watch it. And that should tell you something. It should, t <laughs> well, it should tell you many things. It should tell you that I'm a crock, a nitwit, an imbecile, and possibly a boy, a man, you know, a boyish man, but... Also, it should tell you that these boundaries that were pushed, you know, some of the some of these people may not have understood how to market cartoons to children. And I think that that's the one I'm truly aiming for. So that's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to purvey this to my audiences, but we will figure that out. And this is going to be a lot of fun. You know, the character Ren is pretty funny just because, you know, he has short temper, but then you can't forget Stimpy either. So, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things, I don't know where to go with it, but if you think I'm an idiot, if you've seen a few of my videos and you say, God, I can't stand this guy, you would probably not be able to stand them a lot worse. <laughs> So that's, that's something to know.